Neighbors is bad enough, but what happens when that nightmare neighbor has diplomatic protections and international cord to hide behind? WUSA 9's Sarah Cosmo reports that some foreign embassies have been blighting DC neighborhoods for years, and now the city is fighting back. There are pigeons that fly in and out of the windows. Calorama is one of many beautiful neighborhoods in the district. There are definitely rats. It's also home to many foreign embassies, including Argentina's. For the Herzls who live next door, that's meant 20 years of issues. We've heard other animal sounds, so who knows what's living in there. Just last month, a window fell out and crashed into their backyard. The glass fell down and ripped a hole in the canopy and the glass was laying on the ground. Argentina is not the only offender. Just steps away, the former Pakistan embassy looms large and empty as well. This is Serbia's. Normally, the city would step in. Property owners would be forced to pay steep taxes for vacant buildings or it could be seized. But embassies don't pay taxes and they're protected by diplomatic protocols. I'm um, understanding of the State Department's uh, delicate position. Again, they don't want to be too aggressive, but on the other hand, they do have to act at some point. Council member Mary Che has introduced a bill to make sure the district keeps a running list of problem embassies. It creates a sense of pressure, I think, and attention uh, to the problem. And so that's what we're hoping. That's the most we can do. It's a problem that could only happen in D.C., a neighborhood where the Secretary of State himself, Rex Tillerson, also lives just around the corner. The Herzls were finally able to reach an Argentinian major general to get their canopy fixed, but the even better news. Now they're saying that they can sell the building and they intend to, so we're hopeful that someone will buy it and renovate it and move in. The district's bill will likely be up for a vote this spring. Sarah Consmo, WUSA 9.